This video is brought to you by Squarespace. All right. Dang. Look at how cool this looks. Holy macaroni. Welcome back to my art studio. If you're new to the channel, I'm Slu, your host, where we do wonderful, joyous projects within art, and I document everything. Today is no different, except it's a little different because I'm doing some graffiti. I'm a part of this awesome project called The Secret Writer, this global name swap of graffiti writers. This is the sixth one, and I'm happy to be a part of it. It's really exciting. It's funny because I don't really do graffiti anymore, even though it's the genesis of my entire career of art. You know, I started with graffiti. I still love graffiti. That graffiti canvas over there on that wall is like the last kind of graffiti project I did. It was also the first time I showed showed my face, but I did graffiti for years. It's how I learned how to spray paint. It's how this channel was built actually, is going to the local skate park and painting like murals and doing graffiti characters that led to other characters on canvas and then blah, blah, blah. Now, here we are. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna find out. And so I knew I wanted to paint on a canvas with some paintbrushes, like I love. I absolutely love painting. So I'm going in my little nook, grabbing some leftover loose canvas and this old piece of plywood to kind of make a makeshift uh, canvas of a large size. I don't have to stretch it this way. I kind of just cut it to size, wrap it around this bad boy, and then boom, we have a nice, hard, large painting surface. We don't need this because this is a big old tall boy. Pretty big. Not perfect, but she'll absolutely do. And it's about two hours later, and I printed this out and I sketched. It took me so long, about 90 minutes to sketch out this Frankenstein face and my camera corrupted and I lost that whole time lapse, which is wonderful. But I'm gonna re-outline it with some, with some paint just to solidify the outline, it kind of worked out really nicely. I did this sort of Frank and Slew um, neck thing. I elongated the forehead also to put the graffiti in. I thought that would be cool instead of doing like a chopped out brain. I was gonna do like a Frankenstein brain, but you know, the this long forehead is already an iconic kind of, you know, shape of the Frankenstein. So I wanted to stay true. And then I don't know what colors we're gonna do, but it's gonna be something to do with Halloween, hopefully. I just wanted to show something real quick what I'm doing. So these are the greens I was using, these two, and you can see right here, these stripes they kind of show the transparency. Whereas this um, chromium oxide green, you know, it's, it's very opaque. It has probably some white mixed in or some other opaque color. These are basically very tinted. You can kind of see um, very transparent. So that's all, that's all I've been using. That's why I'm able to see my black outline underneath. So this is just like one giant tint layer. I'm going to mix way more greens after this is just like a, a tint and you can see kind of like how easy it is. Um, you know, it, it's just, it just covers the white and it doesn't cover much uh, anything else. Way. Does that make sense? And so, yeah, I'm just trying to give you some insight to the process, talking about values, talking about the tinting of acrylic paint. It's all wonderful and beautiful. I'm going in with some darker colors and I'm about to approach the favorite part, my favorite part of this painting, the ears, actually. The ears are really, really great, I think. Really great. Now, while we paint these ears, I want you to listen to the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one, dynamic, epic, amazing, website building platform. It's by far the easiest and best way to make a professional looking website. With their award winning templates, it's never been more effortless to create a captivating website. All you really have to do is take your photos, videos, or whatever you have content wise and just drop it into their templates and poof, 
you have a super legit website. I think it's pretty obvious that it's vital to have a website in 2021, especially if you're an artist trying to promote their business. Squarespace's commerce platform supports any way you want to do business. You can sell your work directly online with customizable e-commerce templates or bill for your own design services. I think as an artist, using Squarespace as a website can change your trajectory without doubt. So you could go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you could go to squarespace.com forward slash slew for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It's pretty awesome. Thanks Squarespace for sponsoring the video. And I'm just boosting up the values. This is a pale green that has some white in it. It doesn't matter the color. I'm just adding more opacity and heightening the value a little. So same thing again, we're using pure gold green and now titanium white to maintain the chroma as well as boost the value. So this is like the brightest kind of layer, but I've been doing the same thing. I've been going back and forth, slowly chiseling out this sort of nose, eyelid, cheekbone section, which is where the kind of quote unquote spotlight light is hitting. I just actually added some more white there because it wasn't high enough of a value. Um, and so, yeah, like I said, working in layers, really just chunking out where I want the actual light, light parts to be. And um, it's a really fun process like this. And it, this is similar to how I build up paintings in oil paint, not exactly, but with acrylic drying so fast, you can really just, you know, really, you know, tangibly see the layered process of just starting dark and working your way lighter, but also with higher opacity. And this is a in the moment decision where I kind of just use some of this uh, colder blue, excuse me, colder green, a bluish green uh, for some reflected light. And I want to stay monochromatic. And I think this kind of just added it perfectly. My camera was bugging out with its focus. A couple final touches with the light lights here and there, picking away, having an absolute blast. This is why I love this sort of painting. Once you kind of get the framework down, it's just, you know, following the rules of the light and getting wacky and making awesome brush strokes wherever you please. And look at this monster. Wow, he's my child. It's not alive, but it's close. <clears throat> I know I look like a fool. I was just recording GoPro outline finishing stuff and I didn't hit record. Usually I have a baseball hat that helps this GoPro thing fit on because it slides off my hair. I know I look like a fool, but what we're gonna do is just outline the graffiti, the Maui. <clears throat> and it will be close to being complete. Maybe I'll add a couple little touches here and there. cool this looks holy macaroni but here's the deal people i really like this project i was really happy to be a part of the secret writer 6 project i really like the ears in this frankenstein monster the ears are like my favorite part i also really liked the maui letters like the four letters i i love graffiti it was fun to go back i think the m is a little weak but the a u y flows together very nicely. I also like that I kept it simple because I was gonna go 3D crazy fill in with the graffiti in the forehead, but it kind of look, looks like a tattoo. It sort of blends in to the green. Also the green of the Frankenstein. It's very monochromatic. Obviously, again, I was like, what should I do the background? Should I do orange? Should I incorporate more ghouls and goblins and Halloween theme? But I think the monster of Frankenstein is enough, obviously. 
and I'm glad I stuck with all of the green and then a little of the you know bluer green uh, for the reflected light. It's just nice and simple, straight to the point, right in your face, Frankenstein monster. It was a wonderful time. One day I did this in one day. Wow, it was a lot. Um, the Secret Writer is an awesome project. I'm happy to be a, a part of it. Secret Writer number six, check out the rest of the videos. There should be an awesome playlist to see the next reveals and the name swaps. All right, see you in the next video.